This shit is Julie Jam, and I'm back, and I wanted to show you guys how I do the color doming, because I know I didn't show you guys that. So, what I do is I take a cup, and I keep a lot of these cups. I only got them for um, $2 for, I think it was like 100 at Walmart. I love it. So, what I do is I take it. Let me see if I can see what y'all see down in the cup. And I already pre-mixed my resin. And I take it, and I put a little bit in here. So I already um, <clears throat> know which color I want to use. So I'm going to use the, um, I got the white, which I use this white. And I want to use a black backing. So I got a black backing. So. What I'm going to do, this is my black that I use. And what I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way. So what I normally do is like a drop. Oh gosh, that was a lot. So if you can see that. And then you just stir it. Just stir it up really good. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I'm covering a lot of them in black. So and it's just as easy as that. Like I say, um, the epoxy, the new epoxy resin I'm using is um, mainly for tables and not making jewelry, but it's the same. You can use it all. It's all the same. It just has different curing processes. So, um, I like this because I got a big bottle for a really good price. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. So, I made these two. Let's see if I can get this in a picture. These two, and I definitely want them to have a black packing. So, you just put it in. And work it to the edge. As long as it's in this container thing, it's fine. I'm going to do one of this one on this one. My hands out in the way. And like I said, this resin makes a lot of bubbles, so it doesn't really matter if you, um, if you do. Let's see. But I like to pop them with um my lighter I don't know if you guys can see that but they're popping now they're smooth and it's just as easy as that and I like using that process so I have the earrings to match the little necklaces up here so I'm gonna do that in black also this stuff is super thick Love it. So I think I'm going to do this one in black too. A little bit goes a long way. So yeah, and this is how I dome inside of the with color. So if you guys have any questions, like, share, subscribe um, to my channel. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them if you have any. Okay, so I also want to do a white backing, so I just fill this up. And like I did the other one, shake, shake, shake. And like I did the other one, I just put a couple of dots. Because you only need a little, little bit. 
So I'm gonna come over here and show you. But when I do my backs white, I like them really white. Like this is really white. And this one is really white. So I like it really white. And that's not really white, so I'm gonna add another drop. Literally, a drop. Do it a drop at a time. So what I'm gonna do is turn you guys this way. I'm gonna put it here. And look at how white that is. Scrape every little bit out of the cup. Every little bit. And I'm going to show you guys these pieces once they dry. I give them at least 12 hours. This one, I'm, they, this one dries super fast, so, but I at least give them 12 hours in the molds. So, yeah, that's how I. Oopsie, that's how I dome my pieces. So if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment or ask me and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, yeah, so here's other pieces that I've done that I showed you guys that I was doing. Came out really nice. But thank you guys and have a good day. Like, share, subscribe, leave comments if you want below. Thank you.